Welcome viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So let me take the time out to say maximum respect to those of you who have subscribed to the channel thus far. Those of you who have taken the time out and watched my videos and those of you who have commented on my videos. Enough respect for that. Now, as you can see, based on the topic of this video, I am going to address a frequent question that have been asked of me from time to time. And many of you may come to the realization that I reside in the country of America, the United States of America, in the states of Pennsylvania. So from time to time, people ask me, then how are you going to get the drawings approved in Jamaica while living overseas? And I have to explain to them from time to time that the process is very simple. Now, what you have to consider that we are now living in a virtual world, right? You can stay here and in a meeting with somebody in the Far East, in England, in Africa, all over the world, right? So, so, so one, to begin the explanation is that when you contact me to do a billing plan for you, the first thing I ask of you is to furnish me with the title of your land. So I have to establish proof of ownership. So when I get that now, obviously I'm going to know where the land is located. So I have a surveyor, a reliable surveyor, land surveyor, who I work with back in Jamaica. So let's say for argument's sake, you tell me, or the title, tell me where your land is located in Jamaica. I just ask my surveyor to visit the site and do what is called a topographical survey. Now, in the discussion between you and I, the clients, if you tell me that your land is flat or reasonably flat, then, you know, depending, I won't bother to get the, serve the, the land surveyor involved because I know that is going to be an additional cost. But from the minute you tell me that your land is slope and slope to the point where you cannot determine the height of slope, then I have to get my land surveyor involved for him to do a topographical survey. Now, the second question they ask of me is then, how are you going to design the building? Are you doing not see the surrounding areas? So what I do in instances like these, I ask you to do a video. And most of the time that people get in touch with me, they have already know what type of building they, building they want. You know, where, where they want the balconies to locate it, locate uh, how they want the bedrooms, the bathroom, and so forth. So what I can do also when if the land is slope, I just ask my surveyor to do the topographical survey and at the same time just do a general video of the area so I can know how to design the building to match the respective area. When it comes to the approval or getting your plan approved at the local municipal authority, what I've, what I've done, I the respective parish or local municipal authority, I get in touch with the building officer of that establishment. So I look up the number, I call the relative parish council or local municipal authority, get in touch with the billing officer, ask for an email address. So I just email the PDF drawings to the respective parish council, the billing officer, vet it, 
email it back to me with markups if there are any or we have a verbal conversation and generally speaking i've been doing this for some amount of time now i basically know what is required so after it is checked by the local planning authority and they say everything is okay then i ask you if you have any relative in Jamaica and in instances if I am in Jamaica as as in the case a couple of months ago, a couple of months ago you have you know you have seen me make a submitter to the parish council if I happen to go in the country in Jamaica I will submit the drawings on your behalf right but if that is not the case if you have a if you have a family a trusted family member or a trusted friend I can just ask that family member or friend to pick it up at the blueprinting office. So pretty much a, blue, a blueprinting office, a plotting office, is very easy, easy to find there all over the island, especially in areas that I am familiar with, in I have a relationship with them in the parish of St. Anne's, Mandeville, Clarendon, and if it's, if it's a parish that I've, that I've never done a drawings for, I can just easily go online, look up a blueprinting office, email the drawings to them, they print the drawings, I just tell them how much copies of drawings, how much sets of drawings to blueprint, have your representative in Jamaica go there, pick the plan up, and the person can take the set of drawings to the respective parish council. So that is basically the, the procedure. And as I said before, it's a simple thing. It's not anything difficult. So because I'm addressing this because I've been asked a question. I've, I've been asked this question numerous times, how I can get it done. And I have even recommend some of these new clients to other clients that I've done billing for in other parts of the world. I have done billings for people in England, Canada, and see and same place here in the United States as well as people in Jamaica too. So you don't have to worry. The the issue to get your plan approved in Jamaica, the process is very simple. I just get in touch with the parish council, email them a set of joints, they look at it, email me back and tell me if there are any changes or not. The land survey is, is there to do a topographical survey. If he is not available to do the uh, uh, visuals of the entire area, you can get a family member, go there, video the area, and I can look at the general area, and then I can come up with a design. So that is it for this short video. I only want to bring that to you, that in the event that you're wondering the fact that I'm in the United States, I cannot get the drawings approved for your Jamaica. I have done numerous projects and get all of my plan approved and I have several construction sites going on right now. So, no respect, watch the video until the end, like, share and subscribe. Maximum, I will catch you in another video. Respect.